Good morning, you guys. Before we move on to the uh, most exciting part of today's vlog, I wanted to um, show you guys what mascara I've been using because I get so many questions on it. Lately, I have not been wearing false lashes and I've just been wearing um, mascara. And I have had such a troublesome time finding a good mascara. And there's one thing I don't like about this mascara, but I love everything else about it. And Allie, my friend, and Ellie both like how it gets little balls of mascara. Okay, I'm showing you right up my nose. I guess you really can't even see it even when I'm coming this close. Yes, you kind of can like right here. There's little balls of like mascara. They like it because they're like, no, it makes your eyelashes look really thick. And I'm like, no, it just makes them look like all balled up. But when I look at them when they're wearing it, I don't see those balls unless I'm like micro focusing on them. Anyway, so I've had to learn to get over that. <laughs> kind of weird, right? Anyway, this is the um, It Cosmetics Mascara. I'll put a link for it in the description for you guys. And then you all know that I don't wear matte lipstick, but <laughs> um, there's this one I've tried several, and maybe I can venture out and try more. I don't know, that makes me nervous to even think about that. But anyway, um, this is uh, the Lara Mercier Matte Lipsticks. They have a bunch of different kinds, so I will link it in the description. Joel, you can put the color in the description as Vibe. Just because I've been getting a lot of questions on those two items, so I thought I would share them on here. I do share like most of that information on Instagram because I don't know how much people want to see that on this channel. Anyway, so a lot of my beauty stuff and clothing references, they're on Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me there, that would be wonderful. <laughs> um, Anyway, yeah, that's basically it. I'm just getting ready. Today the kids don't have school, so we're going to take them into town and go shopping. This has been on our um, calendar for quite a while, I feel bad, because Ruby is moving today. Um, but she's like, it's not that, like we have, we've literally never missed anyone's move, have we? Not one. Not one move have we missed because, um, we're there for all of them. I feel terrible that we're not able to make it down. We have a few things that have to get done today that will not be recorded, but then we also have stuff on the calendar to do with the kids that we've had scheduled out. So we won't be able to make it down there today, which I feel bad about, but she said it's not like a huge move. Most of their stuff is either staying or already moved, so she's And okay. have you seen Kevin? He can pick up the whole house by hand and just move it. Let's talk about our Valentine's vlog. Last time we watched it, it ended like this. What are you doing? I know a lot of you guys have questions. I actually <laughs> have a lot of questions. So I think that as I ask Joel questions, it'll answer your questions hopefully, because I crap you guys not, I've never seen this home. I didn't know he was closing on this home. We had kind of talked about it. It was like literally a spur of the moment thing. It was like, ooh, this house is for sale. Like, oh, I, I, I just gotta do this. I just have to do this. So I just instantly started doing things on my own because I was like, I don't have time for Bonnie's approval and we I knew he it was like looking into buying a home. I had no idea he was this serious about it and I didn't know that he like pulled the trigger on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like saying it out loud, I can't even believe it. <laughs> I know. Well, that's how I feel. Okay, so okay, let's just let's just talk about this. Where where is this home? Because that's something that I don't even know. Mm -hmm. Where is this new home that you just like you literally bought and closed it, on? Yeah, it, we own it. Those keys are the keys to it. Okay. <laughs> we should probably stop by and see it sometime, but so a house claim on the market. I'm like waiting. Okay. So <laughs> so I have been looking at real estate forever because it's really more of a hobby of mine. I just like to see what houses are doing and check the classified ads. Which I see that all the time. Like I always know you're on there, but it's just kind of like casual. Maybe passive, I don't know. Right. Coming across this home, I saw and did the math that it was an incredible price per square foot and I thought that can't be right. So I checked on it. Sure enough, it was legit price per square foot. I thought this is gonna go so fast if I do not jump on it. So immediately I just, Thought, don't even bother with Bonnie's permission approval. Not even, okay, so let's kind of give them a little context to what's been going on lately. We've been launching Bali's new spring line, <clears throat> and I'm more involved with 
this part of it than Joel is. Joel does a lot of the financing. He does a lot of the, um, like the books. He does all of the books for Bali and he kind of, so like that's kind of his area. And I take care of the like promoting part of it and the putting together, um, like what you guys see part of it, like on our Instagram. And so I have been neck deep in that. To the point where Joel just honestly doesn't bring anything to my attention unless it's like dire, basically, because, right? I mean, yes, absolutely. And right oh, you're now, like smiling. Well, so my it was brain kind of a perfect, like fried. It was a perfect timing too, because it was like, if she wouldn't have been so preoccupied, I don't think I could have done it. No, because I always, normally, I'm like, what are you doing? Where are you going? What are you working on today? Mm -hmm. But because I've been so busy, and I know you've been busy. Oh yeah. And he would go, you'd go places and I'd be like, where are you going? And he's just like, I've got a bunch of errands to run. Got work to do. Fetching, buying, like, <laughs> okay, keep going. Anyway, keep going. so yeah. So I just decided this is the perfect time. And to be honest, when Bonnie was like, what have you been, or you didn't get me a present. I was like, yes, I did. And I closed <laughs> that morning, that morning I closed. You closed on Valentine's morning. Yeah, and the guy, don't you remember, like, this guy comes over and knocks on our door and the kids answer it, and I'm like, oh, I gotta get out there. Get out there, talking to him for a second, just passing it off as nothing, hands me the keys, because we were done with a transaction. I was like, okay, we'll see you later, Bon. <laughs> I didn't even know, okay. And honestly, usually it's like, I mean, I know everything. Oh yeah. Like I'm like, uh -huh. I kind of tell you, and you will usually, we kind of run our schedules by each other. It's mm -hmm. like, this is what I'm doing. This is what you're doing. Mm -hmm. We're both always busy, but we both always know what each other is doing. And it just has been too chaotic to even know. Mm -hmm. Which Were you scared? So well. um, Were you scared? What if I would have been like, well, okay. <laughs> Bonnie still hasn't I seen still it. I still haven't still seen it. Help. So I maybe am going to be like, okay, what the freak were you thinking? I honestly, I had to really rely on what impressions I was feeling and mm -hmm. I, it was, it was very, I was very impressed to, to look at this house. I, it was weird cause like I had no intentions of looking at real estate that night for some reason, but I did, I got really? on and, and it just was kind of like, oh my, oh my gosh, this is un, this is un, this can't be right. And I started looking into it and I never, I kind of waited for that feeling of don't do it. Like stupor of thought, like you are not supposed to be doing this. And it was just like, no, like this, things are lining up really, really well for a good reason. And um, I did have to get approval from one person and he's my RV buddy, but he's also kind of like my mentor for real estate Life. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he gave me the approval. <laughs> so I was like, it's, it's Joel's friend, James. Bonnie won't care if James cares. Yeah. It's it's basically true. I'm like, oh, James said it's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you look at our finances and say that's fine? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So we can't make it out to the home for a couple of days. So in a couple of vlogs, we're gonna go out and we will show you the property. I will actually be seeing it for the first time. The kids don't know we have it either. Yeah. So we'll get like their reaction and stuff too. Um, interesting, right? So that was kind of wild. Yes, yes. No, it's wild, and I'm I'm putting my faith in you, and I'm I'm putting my faith in you. I'm so excited, I can't even stand it. And if I hate it, what are we going to do? Well, we'll figure that out. We'll cross that bridge when it comes. You're not gonna hate. You're gonna love it. We have a full day of stuff that we're doing, and um, and this is kind of what I was thinking for vlog wise. I haven't been showing a lot of what we do in like with our work lately. I think I want to bring you guys along on like our work day more. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that would be good? I think I want to know your guys' opinion too about yeah. that. And, and maybe you'll... come to my Instagram and let me know because I would like to show you, I would like, I feel like I have become a little bit out of touch with vlogging. We're still, we keep you updated on our lives and with our kids and stuff. And I will say YouTube has put us in a weird situation. Like YouTube has put us in, we haven't known what we can show. We've had to like adjust to their new guidelines. And our communication between you guys has really been severed with the comments being down. It has. And so what I would like to know is, would you like to see more of like what we do in our work day? 
Um, or do you just like us catching you up the way we've been doing? Because I really want to get more in touch with maybe what you guys want to see and also maybe put you in touch with like the reality of our day mm -hmm. because we have a full day of work ahead of us. You guys won't even see it. You won't even know what we're doing. And it's just like, I think I would like them to see it. I think I would like you guys to understand because I think that was the beauty of vlogging is that you really understood what went on in my day. And and maybe I'm gonna answer that for myself is I wanna show you guys and put you more in touch with our day. Yes, it's different. Our, our lives do not look the same as they looked four or five years ago when you guys started watching us. And And for some people that's hard. Even for me sometimes it's hard because it's like my life isn't what it used to be. But whose is? You know, whose life looks the exact same as five years ago? My kids are all at different ages. I'm not having kids anymore. We own businesses together. And I think I want to show you guys more of it. So let me know. Come to my Instagram and let me know. Comment on the most recent picture and just like, because I, I always go back and like keep updated on comments, especially if I am directing you there. So come to the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Okay. Bye guys. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.